Hello guys, it's been a while. My name is Benj and welcome to my channel. As we all know, the Pokemon Company just surprises with this new Pokemon game trailer, which includes the introduction of the new Gen 9 starter Pokemons, which is really cool. So I've decided to make a video on how to draw Fue Coco, which is one of the starter Pokemon for the upcoming game Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So stay tuned. As you can see, I already have the final sketch for Fui Coco. But before I get into this point, I examine Fui Coco's bodies first, then the features, the proportions, and the details. Fui Coco's body resembles a chili pepper, then it consists of curved lines and circles. Don't get me wrong, I have a reference on this uh, to make sure that I'm getting the right details. Once I'm done with the sketch, I will outline it using a pen. I'm using a cheap pen here since I don't have a budget for the high end ones. And uh, once I'm done with the outline, I will just erase the unnecessary lines. Then after that, we will proceed with coloring for a cocoa. Due to limited art supplies, I just use the colors closest to the reference. Always remember that if you're coloring a particular area, just follow the shape of it. For example, if it's a f if it's a curved area, the stroke should be curved as well. When it comes to coloring, I don't have any specific rule on which part to start. In my case, I just want to color the small one first before coloring the larger areas. By the way guys, I'm using colored pens here for coloring for cocoa, and later on I will use colored pencils. I'm trying to make it look smooth, but I guess I chose the wrong paper to use, and that is important. Choosing the right paper is crucial. Um, the one that I'm using right now is textured, that's why it's not that smooth. The next part that we will color is Fukoko's face, and since I don't have any flesh colored color pens, uh, I will just use my color pencil. And I will just use the. What color is this? Yeah, it's flesh. And then I will just put a thin layer of this on Fukoko's face, and I will just put pressure on the sides to emphasize, you know, some parts of his face just like this. Um, please remember, don't overdo it guys, it should be as light as this. The next thing that we will put color to will be the body. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm using the right color in here, but uh, since I lack materials or color palettes uh, in my collection, I'm just using this kind of orangey. Um, color uh, for his body so as you can see I put colors portion by portion and as I mentioned earlier if you're coloring curved areas the stroke should be curved as well and you don't need to worry if there will be lines that's forming just like this because later on we will put another layer of color pencils to it and uh, actually unfortunately and unfortunately um, this pen is running out of ink, so as you can see, I'm having some struggles covering the area. So poor me. <laughs> okay, so it's not a good outcome, as you can see. There's so many lines on the tail part. So I'm trying to put some retouch on it by applying this orange color pencil on top of the pen to make it look smooth and for me to achieve the color that I like. And later on, uh, I will just 
edit it on my editing app. And I think this is the final outcome. So I'm just finalizing everything and of course we will just put our signature. <laughs> That's it. And here is the final outcome of our drawing and after I edit it on the app, I just put his name here and his definition. So as you can see, for Coco is a laid back Far Cry Pokemon that does things on its own pace. And here is the, the outcome, yeah. It's not that smooth still on the app, but I guess that will work. So thank you again so much guys for visiting and for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of this, feel free to follow, share, and subscribe to my channel. And by the way guys, my next video is going to be Fue Coco's um, evolution line. So watch out for that. Okay? Thank you again and have a great day. Bye-bye.